Hey guys, it is Amanda here and today I am bringing you guys a really quick little tutorial. It's actually not even a tutorial, I should say. It's a quick um, product swatches. I received some products from Beauty For Real and I've shared this with you guys before on my blog. I love this brand. I love their products. They're very lightweight. They're very inexpensive as well and my favorite lip liner in this whole world to do my everyday gold lipstick is with this brand and it's this lip liner I am absolutely in love with it and I wear it almost every day I think this is like my second um, lip liner that I get and yeah I wanted to show you guys I'm going to show you how to how not only did I want to just show you guys like all oh, these are the products that I received but I also wanted to do a quick tutorial and show you guys my impressions I guess and show you guys how I use these products um like I said I've used this brand before I've used their products before I've shared this on my blog before so I was really excited to partner up with them again and show you guys how to use the new collection for spring so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial slash impression slash little mini haul all right yeah no I guess I don't know so if you guys want to see how I achieve this quick look then just stay watching. First things first, um, I'm going to use the Lip Revival. And this one here is just, oh my gosh, it smells like, it reminds me of Christmas because it has like a very cinnamon, like cinnamon smell. So basically what I do is I grab this lip scrub and I apply, use my mirror, I apply all over. sugar with cinnamon oh my gosh it makes you want to eat it but don't do it, it has dead skin you don't want to eat that and then I go in this is a makeup eraser um toilet or towel that I picked up at Sephora this works good I'm, I'm it's not my favorite to use every day to remove my makeup but it does it, I use it when I'm doing my makeup so I don't use my other towels so I can wipe off like I used to wipe off these um, swatches here and it's just good for that um, and then I go in and I just wipe it off. My lips are extremely chapped right now. Okay, so I remove that. And then I always go in with a spoolie. And I just removed every other little dead skin that I have. I do not overline my lips. Um, I think it looks a little cheesy on me, so I kind of just do it like on the actual border of my lip. And then a makeup artist once told me that when you do the corner of your lips, the top lip always go from down up because it pushes. I don't know, she was just saying that it makes it go up the impression that your lips are bigger, it goes out towards like pulling it back, pulling it down. So I always do that. I 
And the same thing goes for the bottom. Just start from the corner outwards, the top again, go from in, out. And that's it. And then what I do here normally, you guys, I just go in with my finger, my um, middle finger, and I just, ring finger, I'm sorry. And I just kind of blend in a little bit. the lip liner so it's not so harsh and normally your lips are hydrated the blending is a lot easier I think it blurs out the corners of your lip and it makes it look more natural and then I'm going to go in with flash and I always start in the center and I work my way out. Oh, this color is beautiful. the lipstick what I do is that I come over with the I flip I kind of use the um the wand and I kind of use the tip as like almost like a lip liner I don't get on it because I don't want it to bleed out but I feel like that's the purpose of the lip liner so it keeps everything from bleeding out anyways so I just go in with the tip I don't apply any extra lip liner I mean lip gloss and I just go in and I kind of touch the lip the edge of my lips. Kind of covering that lip um, liner and also covering it a little bit so it's not such a dark, harsh line there. And I feel like when you blend your liner, it kind of helps it blend easier too once you apply your lipstick. So. you guys are going to think I'm crazy because it is a lip gloss but this lip gloss since it is a very pigmented lip gloss what I do is I go in with my little towel and I kind of like press on it to take out the excess because I'm going to apply a second coat I kind of wanted to go in the lip um, gloss to kind of go in your lips, you know, in the cracks, and so that way it, I feel like it lasts longer. If you have issues with getting your lipstick on your teeth, go ahead and stick your finger in and pull it out and you're going to get the excess here. I normally don't have that issue. I never have lipstick on my lips, thank God. So um, I don't do that because I hate when you look at your lips and you see like 
little bit of lipstick missing in the middle if you know what I mean like that makes any sense but I hate that so I don't do it but if you have um, issues with your lipstick transferring over to your teeth go ahead and do that because that's probably gonna be better for you isn't this color amazing you guys like I die for this color is like perfect for some all right so next thing that we're going to use is the blush and the glow so here on this side you have the blush and I'm gonna swatch it here for you guys they're very blendable and this is I think is great like if you're gonna be going to the pool and spending the day at the beach because it goes on so naturally and when it starts um, coming off it comes off very natural as well and I love the color of the lips how it complements each other so and then let me show you on the other side is the highlighter and the color for these are um, get it get lit I'm sorry get lit and then the this blush is in the tone in the pink so I'll show you guys the highlighter So let's get started. I'm going to start. I start off with smiling. And then just dab. And I kind of just do a little bit of this because I blend here and I bring it up. And then I wipe off the excess and I go in on the other side. I work my way. How amazing is that, you guys? Oh, it just touched my hands. How amazing is that? It's so pretty, right? Okay, so now I wipe my finger and then I'm going to use the highlighter. And the highlighter are more, I do have very um, big pores here, so I just do it a little bit on here and that is pretty much it. And then I just work my way. And I do very small little lines. with a fan brush and just kind of blend that in and that's pretty much it you guys the this is the way I apply these products um I'm loving I love to wear this for a beach day um, a day that I'm going to the pool. It is something very easy, simple. It's very light and very easy to blend and it adds a little bit of color to your face. If you're going to the pool and you don't, I normally go to the pool and I obviously don't wear makeup. Um, but if I am going to the beach or to a pool party or to an event at the pool or something like that and I want to add a little bit more of um, color, like look a little bit more fresh, then this is probably what I would do. Just add some Concealer, put on some mascara, or I should say a whole lot of mascara, waterproof, 
and then I just put a little bit of blush, a little bit of the highlighter, and probably I will do a little bit oh, um, under my eyebrows, maybe in the center of my nose, a little bit of my cupid bow, and that's pretty much it, you guys. This is the look that I go for. I normally use um, NYX Lip Butter for my lips, but I think I'm really liking this lipstick, and I feel like if you do just one coat, maybe just dab it very lightly, it may be a good look for the pore as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial um, as I show you guys what I got and show you how to use it or just to apply it and more like a, tell you guys my thoughts while I'm, while I'm using it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.